everybody, in this video we're gonna talk about the new Lightroom Classic CC, the new updates. In fact, all of these updates came also for the Lightroom app for tablets and smartphones. It is crazy how Lightroom is using the artificial intelligence. So let's go to Lightroom so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay guys, there are two main updates in the new Lightroom and they're here, Color Mixer and the Lens Blur. Color Mixer used to be the HSL. If you click here, you can see that it's still the HSL when you go to Mixer, but then you're gonna have this point color, which is really cool. We're gonna see it second, okay? Let's go to the lens blur here and let's start with this. The name actually says it all as soon as we are selecting the picture. We can just put apply here as you can see and it's gonna make the background blur. The artificial intelligence of Lightroom is very very good. It takes a little time, you have to be patient, but it works amazingly. So as you can see it worked a little bit here on the back leaves over here also next to the cat a little bit. It's not too strong but this is actually the default in this picture because it was already a little blur but we can see here the blur amount and we are in 50 we can actually go all the way to 100% now by default the artificial intelligence is understanding that actually the cut and maybe around the cut is the main subject and that's why it's not making everything very very super blur but if we can hear where it says focal range you can see that everything that is in yellow would be the main subject in this case will be the cut and this is actually what is going to be in focus. If we click here where it says visualize depth, we can see exactly that the yellow part is gonna be on focus and the rest is gonna be blurred. So we can see that actually here, the stone and part of the tree is kind of in between yellow and orange. So it means it's a little bit blurred, but not as much as we want. So if we want more of this area blur, let's just then click here, visualize depth so that we can see what we are doing. We can actually play with this area. If we reduce the area, it means less is gonna be in focus. So if we go all the way here, for example, you can see that more things now are getting blur. And we see that the very yellow is the cut, so we can actually move it over here. And now we can see that the cut is very focused and the rest is more blur. This is amazing if you took a picture and you forgot to change the focal length of the camera or you don't have much blur behind and you want to create this professional blur that everybody likes. Let's make it a little smaller and let's go exactly on the yellow because we know that the cut is in yellow. Now here in this area you will have exactly which kind of blur are you going to have. So if we maximize here and you can see exactly how is the blur here next to the cut, you can see that this is the shape of the blur. But if we go for example here, you can see the blur is changing. Now it's a different style of blur. You can come here as well and you can experiment. I normally use this one over here, the one that comes by default, but it depends all the time of the picture, so you can actually play around, look for the best for you, and then when you choose exactly what you want, you can play with the boost, and it's gonna make it stronger. Okay, now, I see the picture, I like it, I like the blur in the background, I like that the kitty is focused, but you know what? Maybe I want this area of the stone here on the bottom also a little bit blur. Maybe I want also here the tree, these branches, blurrier so what I can do we can come a little bit here down so we can see here we have this refine so you see focus and you see blur what you can do is just click blur and then you're gonna see the amount the size the feather so when you come here you will see the size of the like the brush per se so what we're going to do is we're gonna come here and we can actually brush it and you can see that we're making it even blurrier you can see now I have the branches blurrier like I wanted and maybe here on the front and maybe over here a little bit. Let's try not to exaggerate also because then it's gonna look like fake, like digital. We don't want that, but I think what I did is okay. The picture looks good and the background is as blur as I want it. Now if you committed a mistake and you're like, oh my gosh, this part, I don't want it blur. Or maybe here in the back, for example, of the cat, you can see the tail is a little bit like blur also and you want it in focus. You can come to focus and you can do exactly the same. But because it's very tiny, we can change the size and then we can come here and we can do something like that and then that's it you can see now that the cut is completely focused when you are brushing also almost forgot to tell you you should put here auto mask so actually when you're masking lightroom is going to understand exactly the edges and it's going to assume which is the subject and which is not also here in focal range you can see here there is a little person here this means we are actually selecting the subject that is this part over here 
So if we move this to the other side, now you can see that actually the cut is blur and the rest is actually how it was the picture before. So now you see that it selected this point here. If you wanna come back and you are like, no, 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 I want to select the subject that is in front, then you just click here and it's gonna come back to the cut. Like I always say, take pictures and then come to Lightroom and start to experiment with things because when you start to experiment, by mistakes, you're going to learn more and more and more. Now let's go to the next update in Lightroom Classic CC. The new update of Lightroom is Color Mixer. When you click here, they changed the name of this tool, Color Mixer, before it was HSL. If you came here to Mixer, we still have the HSL, we have Hue, Saturation, Luminance, we still have the same thing, but now you have the option of Point Color, which is pretty cool. You can actually select with the sample spot color, and you can come to any color, and you can be, for example, here in the jacket, and you can see that it selected the color of the jacket exactly here. And then if you move it, you can actually change the color of the jacket. Now this is amazing, but if you have something with the same color or something very similar in color, it could change also the colors around the picture and you don't want that. Let's go to the orange, for example. It's changing the jacket to orange, which for me is fascinating. It's so easy. We could do it before with the HSL, but it took a little bit more of time. But again, when you're changing the colors, there's certain little hues around the picture that are changing because these flashes of yellow, the picture already had them. So what we can do, and this is gonna be amazing, we can create a mask. For example, we come here in masking. We're gonna create a mask selecting the subject. You can see that the Lightroom is amazing. It selects the subject, this is amazing. Okay, so the good thing about it is that now when you mask something, you can see that in the mask you have more options. Before you used to have the basic corrections and the color here, but now you have point color, curves, effects, detail. So you have more options and you can change all that you want just affecting the mask and this is amazing. So now if you wanna change in point color, the color of the jacket, you will not affect the rest of the picture. Imagine if the jacket is green and the subject is on the woods, everything you change in the jacket is gonna change the whole picture. So here with the mask, we can play just with point and color, just with the jacket. And for example, we come here, we select the jacket, it's basically very similar that what we do before, but now we know that what Whatever we do is gonna affect just the subject, not the picture in general. So now we can be happy to come over here. We want the jacket green, for example, however we want. If we wanna go more into detail, we just come here and we select the subject and we get closer to the subject. We can see that we were missing here a little bit. It's like a yellowish color, don't worry. Selecting the mask, we can put add. So we're gonna add mask. Okay, we're gonna do brush. We can just add the mask to this corner that we didn't have it and then make it over here, make it nicer. Whatever you see that it was not covered by the mask, we can do it with the add. And that's it, simple. We come back here, we double click here and we come back to the picture and we can see now that actually we just changed the jacket. This point and color, I'm telling you, I had a lot of fun when I installed the new version of Lightroom. I took so many pictures and I started to edit. Actually, the cut that you saw, I took pictures of that cut like crazy. So I was having fun. And this is something that you have to do. Have fun with Lightroom. Just like this, you will become a master of Lightroom. People, I hope this video has been useful to you. And if you know anybody, anybody who can use this video, share it. Because like this, you're helping the channel. Also to those who are not subscribed, what is wrong with you? Subscribe, it's for free. Until next week.